moving on to uh, the administration's uh, shameful concession policy toward Cuba that has turned its back on human rights advocate, yes or no, are human rights in Cuba a priority for this administration? Of course they are. Thank you. Then how do you explain this year's budget request for even less democracy funding for Cuba is worse than ever before, and you're about to travel to Cuba for your second visit. Yesterday was the 20th anniversary, as you know, of the shootdown of the Brothers to the Rescue planes that were ordered by Raul Castro, resulting in the murder of uh, innocent uh, Americans. Will you commit, Mr. Secretary, to the families of these victims today that you will seek the extradition of uh, Castro regime officials responsible for the shootdown. General Ruben Martinez Puente, Lorenzo Alberto Perez y Perez, and Francisco Perez y Perez. Well, uh, Madam Chair, let me just say that uh, we are engaged actually more directly on human rights than we ever have been uh, or capable of being because we now have negotiated additional diplomatic presence in Cuba. We now have negotiated the right for our diplomats to be able to travel on Mr. Secretary, are you aware that over 8,000 people were arrested yes, very, since well, the December yes. 17th announcement of President Obama? And when you say arrested, there were people who... Arbitrary arrest, detaining uh, human rights advocates. Correct. Whatever you would there like to call people, people who are detained. being held outside of their will. People were indeed detained 8, for 8,000 of hours, and there were... We, we are very much aware of that, and we have objected to that, and we are in I could just thank you, Mr. And Secretary. we have succeeded in getting people released who previously yes. had not been some, released. Some, some, five some of that whom, had been released were actually put on the list and uh, rearrested so that they could were, be released again, and some who were released were re – anyway, some, um, that, that's uh, very interesting about that list of freed people – that uh, Castro plays. I hope we're not silly enough to believe that. And I'm wondering if, if you know in which illegally confiscated U.S. property you will be holding a press conference while you're in Havana. Last year you held a press conference Hotel Nacional. Uh, the American owner, the Intercontinental Hotel Corporation, still has a U.S. certified claim for its majority interest in the hotel. Do you know which illegally confiscated property you will stop at this time? And then finally, will you commit to, to this committee that you will pressure Castro to unconditionally return to the United States New Jersey uh, cop killer Joanne Chesimard, human rights, confiscated property, uh, U.S. fugitives from justice? Does any of it matter to this administration? It matters hugely. In fact, we believe we have actually created more opportunities for intervention, more opportunities to make progress. One in four uh, people in Cuba are now beginning to work for private, uh, private enterprise. How do you They're explain able the massive money? exodus, an 80 percent sure. increase Madam of sure. Cubans leaving an the island do you since want the... An answer, or do you want to just ask a question. I can sit here if you want to do that. But you're talking about small business owners that are just, I'd like to go I to that optometrist because those rose-colored glasses are, are amazing. There have been massive arrests, massive exodus, and still we talk about this non-existent entrepreneurial class in, in Cuba. We uh, now have more opportunity to engage. We have more visits taking place with various groups, NGOs and others, who are going to Cuba and engaging with the Cuban people than ever before in the last 50 years of our policy. We, and they're we believe this numbers. has a greater chance of changing Cuba than anything that has happened in the last 50 years. It didn't work for 50 years. We need to go to Nothing Mr. Nothing changed. Mr. Now Greg it is changing.